the Starcaster I should kind of shave that off. Um, the difference between the Starcaster uh, heads are, uh, and the regular uh, Fender Stratocaster heads, this line here, this line here is a straight line, it's not curved. Um, this one here I sanded it down a little bit so it's a little bit straighter than it was before. But uh, uh, this whole thing is probably about a quarter inch bigger. Um, and they don't have much of a, uh, an angle on this, on the regular Strat. Um, sanded that down just a little bit. Uh, so, and then I, I did my other, other video on this. We used, we had a random orbital sander. Um, a regular palm sander would probably work. We started with 120. I finished up, uh, well, yeah, which, this is a 120 grit sand job right here. And, uh, it's actually not too bad. We look at it in the direct sun here. It's not too scratchy. Uh, and it's got a, it's got polyurethane on it, basically. The thing with polyurethane is you have to put thin coats or it bubbles up and it won't dry. So, that's the thing about that. I just did this one side because I wasn't sure how it was all gonna turn out. I left the black, back black. Um, I actually did a 320, uh, 320 grit sand job on this and then sprayed it with this clear lacquer, this Krylon. Um, now this one here, when I got it, it was just a $25 special at the pawn shop and I uh, didn't have a fret. So I got a fret, but the damn thing wouldn't stay in there. I took a little bit of glue. Um, I may have to get a bigger fret, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that's how, that's how it's looking. And I got the Al Nico pickups, whatever the loaded uh, pick guard for it. Then I got the uh, thicker, uh, whatever the heavier uh, uh, bridge. And I'm gonna put that in. Hopefully it'll fit in there okay. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's kind of a fun project. I never really did like the black color. Um, and I went on my Facebook group to find out what the possibility is of finding something good underneath the sand job. Would be most people say no, you're probably not gonna find any good wood under there. But uh, then after I posted a picture of this, it was like everybody said, yeah, I did that, it turned out good. It's like really weird. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so this, uh, this, and I had to sand these frets down. These frets were like really bad. So I got this little kit here, Harbor Freight. You can get a fret file. Um, I got this file kit, Harbor Freight. And there's one file that doesn't have doesn't have any cutting edge on it. And it's this kind of like oblong one. And you can kind of go over these frets and clean them up a little bit. They were definitely sticking out pretty gnarly. This is the attack of the fret uh, episode. So, um... They still feel a little bit rough, but they're not as bad as they used to be. Um, and I was going to originally tape it down and make sure I didn't uh, mess it up at all. I got a couple of spots here I messed up, but uh, I mean, how much work are you going to put in uh, a guitar that you're not going to be, you know, going 100% on? But uh, oh, there's also this. What is it? Uh, something like in a, there's a there's a modified tone knob you can put in these. Apparently, they're about a hundred bucks. They give it a wider range. Supposedly, the Telecaster, the Stratocasters normally have a kind of a fixed uh, love hate tone to them. And if you there's a there's a modified tone knob that gives uh, different tones for a hundred bucks. I was thinking about putting it in, but the thing is, is you get too much money in something like this, it's only going to be worth a certain amount. So. Um, this, this is actually my first full sand down and kind of read mod on one of these, so I'm just going to take it easy, put it together, see how it sounds, and then uh, um, just kind of have fun with it, you know. Okay, I can't believe how good that looks. Uh, yeah, black is not my favorite color. So this was the, they call it, uh, what's it called? Uh, Old school bridge um, called uh, traditional. I think it's a uh, traditional. It's called a traditional uh, bridge. Came with springs and even a pick, man. Uh, a couple of extra screws for the uh, adjustment. Musicplay.com and. Uh,
came with new springs um, and uh, this pick guard actually I haven't looked it up yet but it's a little bit kind of like I think they put too much the wires are a little bit too long um, these wires these black wires are too long so they're hanging up they're hanging up somewhere in here I can't push them down uh, quite flat at this point so I have to either shorten these wires or adjust them and uh, so yeah that's the these are the Al Alnico uh, this was like 40 bucks Alnico v these and uh, so this uh, this is a spring action making new springs this is just a larger uh, whatever metal block and it fits right in there which is pretty cool um, and uh, so this this one here you should be able to whammy it both ways so there should be an adjustment this should be apparently adjusted so that you can either go uh, up or down um, so I think that I need to loosen these up a little bit because um, I, I can't go up um, and then these will of course have to be adjusted to the internality um, adjusted here and this is actually there's no spring behind it it just pops out it's just got a little clip in there it just pops in like that hey, thanks for watching